Say you start dating a guy. How many dates should it take before you two become quote unquote official? Uh, like two or three. Two or three? I would say at least three. Three? <laughs> like boyfriend, girlfriend? Uh, maybe five or six. Five or six? Yeah. Um, I'm going to go three to four. Three to four dates. Um, official? I feel it would take more than ten dates. Oh. Right. Ten dates, ten. really? Yeah. That's that's a big number compared to who have I've, who I've talked to you already. Why is why is that number so big? I feel like um, in order to be, to become like official, you have to like really know someone. You have to vibe with them. Make sure that like your friends love them. Make sure that you guys are like a like a great match. That's when we make it like official. So I feel like ten dates or more will be great. Yeah. Ooh, I definitely think it depends on the person. But I would say like six. Six. No, five. Four, five, six, four to six. Yeah, yeah four to six. <laughs> four to six? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it kind of depends. I actually have a boyfriend now, and we were best friends before we started dating. So the first time we intentionally hung out, he just told me his intentions, and we started dating. Really? Very first time. Well, we were best friends before, so we were already super close, so it wasn't like I had to get to know him. I already knew him. Mm -hmm. What does official mean to you? Does that mean you delete your Tinder account? Stop going to bars. You stop going to male strip clubs. What is <laughs> what does official mean to you? Uh, yeah, definitely deleting your Tinder account. I would say like not seeing other people. <laughs> um, yeah, exclusive. Um, both of you committing to a relationship to each other. Um, that doesn't mean taking away any of your freedom, but just kind of doing things for the other person. I guess official means like we're actually together, like he'll introduce me to his family, like I'll meet his friends. I think official means that you're exclusively seeking out that person and you're not talking to other people and you're not looking for another relationship and you're focusing on the one right in front of you. Oh uh, yeah, probably all we just said, don't go to <laughs> any of that and definitely delete the Tinder. Delete the Tinder? I, I mean, I never had it though, but. Oh, you never had Tinder? No. Really? Yeah. Why not? I mean, I don't really need it. No, she didn't! <laughs> oh! Ooh, she, she's that hot. You guys hear that? Ooh. All right. I'd just say emotionally invested and therefore not emotionally looking anywhere else. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, just uh, trust, having trust, and being confident in that relationship. So say you become official with someone. Would it be okay if this person posted pictures of you two together on social media like Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat? Would you like that or would you not like that? I mean, yeah, it doesn't matter whether he did or didn't. I mean, I post pictures of my boyfriend, but he doesn't really post about me. Okay. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, if you're becoming official, like if you're, you know, a couple, I feel like that's like normal, like couple stuff. So yeah, I'm totally fine with that. Honestly, yeah, I right. actually love that if they post me. Yeah. Really, you would like that. that. All right. I'd be okay with it. Really? Why do you say that? Um, because I would want to post pictures with him too. Alright, cool. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, it. I think that there's a difference between like excessive or just like, no, like I spent a lot of time with this person, like, might as well. Yeah, I would be okay with that. Why do you say that? Um, I don't know. I would, it's nice to have someone flaunt you a little bit in a relationship. You like that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'd be fine with that. Really? Why do you say that? I mean, it lets you know that person's unavailable, I guess. <laughs> like. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Definitely. Why, why do you say that? Because um, I post pictures of myself and I don't really care what's on it on social media. Yeah, <laughs> no. Um, if you want to like show someone off, then you can post them. If you became official with someone, would you expect this person to meet your friends, meet your family, you meet their friends, you meet their family? Is that something you'd expect or would you not necessarily need that to happen? No, I would expect that to happen. I think meeting someone's family is a really important part of a relationship. Really? I think it all like comes in time, but I think that like meeting my friends and family is a huge part of yeah being official. So you would expect that at some point? Mm hmm Yeah. Uh kind of. Like I wanna see how my friends act around him, how he acts around my friends, how he treats people. So your friend's opinion of him is gonna be important? Yes. If um, you guys become official, but if it's serious, then yeah, I would love for them to meet my friends, my family, you know, like, 
having a good time, like hanging out and getting to know each other and stuff, yeah. Um, I wouldn't say it's necessary, but I would expect it. Really? Yeah. Why do you say that? I mean, it just depends. My boyfriend, um, the culture he comes from, his family is very tight knit. So it's like basically once you're engaged, you get introduced. Both my family, it's like kind of once you're dating, after a couple months, you get introduced. I say yes, just because if I were dating someone, I'd want them to get along and be in my life in that way as well. Mm -hmm. um, I think I would definitely expect to meet friends and family would be like a different story. It would be a longer down the road, but yeah. Um, definitely meet the friends. I guess it depends on how far you go before I would want you to meet my family. So since you're official with this person, what if he wanted you to do OnlyFans together? Would you be okay with that or not okay with that? Only what friends? OnlyFans. OnlyFans? What does that mean? You've never heard of OnlyFans? No. <laughs> you are a very pure girl. Thank God for girls like you. No. <laughs> Why would you not be okay with that? You're official. Um, because I don't want that personal stuff out on the internet. Right. Cool, cool. Um... I feel like it would take some, it'd definitely it'd be, a be a conversation. It depends yeah. really on the yeah. situation, but yeah. I'd be I'd be open to it. Really, you Make would? Make some money. Yeah, I know, if I could get some money out of that. Yeah. Hell yeah. You never problem with that? Mm, depends. Not really my speed, unfortunately. I would probably not do that. Really? No. Depends on what type of things you're posting, because honestly, like, getting a bag is getting a bag at that point. <laughs> but I mean, I wouldn't really want to be like, getting freaky on there now. Only fans with limitations. Yeah, I like to keep the relationship private. I hear that. Mm, I don't think I would be down for that. Why do you say that? Uh, that's not my kind of thing. <laughs> so, since you are now official with this person, what if he wanted you to do only fans together? What would you would you be okay with that or not okay with that? Definitely not. Why not? You're official. I mean, we're official, but like some stuff is like meant to be like kept private, you know. So I don't think. Yeah, no, not only fans.